Ooh, so 1999. <sighs> Getting ready to graduate from high school. And me and my friends are sitting around talking about possible senior pranks. And of course, uh, one of the ideas was a technology based one uh, messing with the school computers. And so me and my friends are sitting around and we're talking about uh, wondering if the school wipes the computers, because supposedly they wipe the computers every summer, but you know, they probably don't. And if we could infect the computers with something with a delayed reaction uh, that did something the next year after we're already gone and, and, and um, I almost said retired, gone and, um, what, what do you call it, me? graduated. Um, so that way we don't get in trouble with the school, although obviously, especially nowadays, you're looking at legal problems. We ended up actually never doing the idea with the school computers, but I did implement it somewhere else. So this was the idea. Write a program, and at the time, uh, back in the day, I was a Windows user, and I did most things through batch files, and not, not bash files, batch files, and uh, Visual Basic. And at the time, Windows had the obvious flaw. This just shows how Windows developers are just... That, that at the time, a teenager, anybody, obviously this was a bad idea, that uh, you create a, a CD, and you put an INI, an auto uh, INI file on there that says the name of a program on the CD and it runs that program when you put it in automatically without the user interaction. I'm trying to make things simple, but obviously that's a bad idea. So I used to make these CDs. Before that, I used to make, uh, you know, uh, Windows boot, you know, disks, the, the floppy disks, but CDs were even faster and just drop it in, you know, and at the time Windows had no permissions, you know, you drop it in, you can do whatever you want. So the idea, getting back to the prank, was to have it where we could, I would make this program, put it on disk, give it to a bunch of people, and they would go around to all the school computers, everyone they get in, pop it in, and basically it would run, it would ding, and eject the CD after it's done installing the program. And what this program did was wait for a certain date, every time the computer turned on, it checked the date, and after a certain date, it would lock the keyboard and then full screen display a very inappropriate picture. I was a teenager. Um, <laughs> that's the sort of things teenagers do. Um, and so again, we never did this at the school, but uh, I worked at a place that sold computers and I would mess with the computers quite often uh, that, that we sold just, just because. And so, uh, I was actually upset. It's actually after I stopped working there. I'm sorry, remembering more of the story as I'm telling it. Uh, I quit there. I actually bought something from there uh, and went to return it. And they gave me a runaround with the return. It took forever for me to get a, re a refund. So I was, I was a little upset. So I decided, hey, I'm going to use that idea on their display computers. So I made the CD. I went in and, and acted like I was like at the computer, dropped it into three or four of them and set it for you know, a few days later when the computers turn on, again, it would wait a couple hours because the computers are turned on when the, when, in the morning before the store is open. And you want these things to pop up while there's customers in the store. So basically it would run the program, the computer would count down two or three hours and then display this image on the screen and lock the keyboard. Well, I installed it on four of these machines, waited a couple days, went in later that day with a buddy of mine and I know most people who work there because I used to work there myself. So I'm expecting to walk in and someone be like, hey, you won't believe what happened today. This, this, that, and that. But nobody's saying anything. So I'm like, I must have wrote something wrong. The program didn't run like it was supposed to. So I said to my buddy, I go, help me go in and go to these four computers and we're going to delete the files and we're going to try again. So I go to one, he goes to one, we delete files. I go to another one, he delete file. We go to the last computer and it's sitting there. And I think it's off. I go, oh, I, we pressed the screen button. The computer was on, the screen was off. We pressed the button and <laughs> the picture was there. And I grabbed my buddy and we just walked out. Nobody ever said anything, but we just left it sitting there. Anyway, that was a prank at the time. Inappropriate. Wouldn't do that at uh, now, but as a teenager, it was kind of funny at the time. Uh, that's it for this story. Thanks for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day.